a new day begins on Earth. The sun rises over our home planet, a blue oasis in a vast cosmic desert, the only place in the entire universe where life is known to exist. This same sun has shone constantly on our world for four and a half billion years. The light that warms our skin today has been felt by every person who's ever lived. It touched the backs of the dinosaurs and it greeted the creatures that first left the ocean to brave the land. The sun has witnessed everything that's happened here on Earth, but it is no passive observer. The sun is in fact our planet's powerhouse, the source of the energy that drives our winds, our weather. It is the primary generator of the extraordinary web of life, crawling, swimming and flying all over the world. All life on Earth depends in some way or another on our nearest star, the sun. fooled by the terminology. As a typical yellow dwarf star, our sun could still comfortably fit over one million Earths inside it. The sun's immense proportions dominate our solar system. This luminous titanic object is 500 times as massive as all the planets combined. Almost five billion years old, our star is now well into its adulthood. ...of space. Along the way, it may encounter the many solar centuries that humans have launched into space. While it is hoped that fusion will sustain humanity by providing an essentially limitless power supply for our needs, the same cannot be said for the sun. Eventually, its supply of fuel will dwindle and the fusion at its core will cease, prompting a spectacular but deadly transformation. Starved of fuel, the sun will expand and with its dying breaths, it will almost certainly engulf the inner planets. Our star will consume the world it once nurtured. Fortunately, this will happen in the far future in five billion years. Until then, life will continue to evolve on this small blue planet, drinking in the life-giving rays of a living star, our sun. <laughs>